Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Hector, he's playing a game 14 times. Each time he played, he's gonna throw four red and three green balls at a target. So we need to know the total number of balls that he threw at the target. There's a few different ways that we can solve this problem. Let me show you each of them here. When in doubt, right, you can always draw a picture. So if you wanna say 14 games, let's just put 14 little squares here. So let me just draw my squares and we'll say each of these squares represents a game. And we're just going to visually represent, I've got 12 right here. Let me see, I need two more. There we go. So I'm gonna need four red and three green. So what I could do is I can just say four plus three. So there's my four red and three green in each of these games. And so what we're doing is we're representing the green balls, we're representing the red balls. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, you know what? Four red and three green, that just makes seven. And look at our answer. Our answer is not asking us how many green or how many red. It wants us to combine them. So what we can go ahead and do is we could just say each of these games has seven, right? So let's just put a seven up there. So it's always good to draw a picture to kind of get your brain wrapped around what is actually happening. And so I've just got seven 14 times. So I can just do 14 times seven. Or at least I should be able to do that. That's gonna be eight. That's 28, right? So seven times one is seven. Add that two back in is nine. So 98, that's at least one of my answer choices. What if we broke it up? What if we said this? What if we said that I wanted to multiply the number of the red balls? So that's going to be times four. And I wanted to multiply the number of the green balls. That's going to be times three and add those two up. I wonder if that would work. Hmm. So 14 times 4 is going to be, let's see, 4 times 4 is 16. And we're going to add that one back in. 4 times 1 is 4. Add that 1 is 5. So that's 56, which is not an answer selection. And then 4 times 3, that's going to be 12. Carry that one back in. 3 times 1 is 3. Add the 1 is 4. 42 is not a choice. So that's, I guess that's good. So if I need to add my 56 and my 42, guess what I'm going to get? Let me put it right here. That is going to get me back to my 98. So I'm feeling pretty good about this 98 right here. But I'm thinking, where are some of these other choices coming from? Well, I could tell you where 21 comes from. What we did is we just added 14 plus 4 plus 3. See, that's 18. That's 21. But we're not just adding all of the numbers. He had 14, 14 games and 7 in each game. So 21 is not going to work. So what if we were to represent this a different way? What if we were to write a number sentence? What would that look like? Well, what we could do is we can say what we did is we added the 3 plus 4 or the 4 plus 3. Remember, you can change the add-ins. That's a community property. We added that first, and then we multiplied by the 14. And we're going to need these parentheses here, because when you do multiple things in a problem, multi-step, you always have to make sure your order is correct. And normally, you would do your multiplication first. That's a little bit bigger than the addition subtraction. So we have to put the parentheses to make sure we add first. But either way, that is going to get us our 98. And so the answer is not going to be the 68. It's not going to be 46. It's going to be C, 98.